good morning, MV Kids. Welcome to another Sunday online. We, today we are going to be learning about the Ten Commandments. Now, you've probably heard of the Ten Commandments before, but today we're going to really learn about them and what they mean and why we have them. But before I begin, I have a quick announcement. If you are heading into the sixth grade, you are officially graduating from MV Kids and moving on to MV Students. We will miss you greatly, but very excited for what's in store for you. So MV Kids meets with this video, but MV Students actually meets every week on a Zoom call um, right now while we're in quarantine. So next Sunday, August 16th at 10.30 in the morning, you will be invited to your first Zoom call. So if you email Derek, then you can get the link and join them for your first MV Students meeting. Now, on to our lesson. Our first question, what is God like? This is very important, especially as we enter into really learning about the rules that God gives us. And sometimes rules can be scary, and sometimes rules can seem kind of unfair, right? But one thing we have to realize is that God is holy, God is good, and God is loving. Um, as long as we can remember those things, then it makes everything else a little easier. So our first activity is called target practice. So what I want you to do is find a basket or a bowl or some sort of target. If you have the game called cornhole, you can do that too. So you're, everyone in your house is going to get three pieces of paper that all you're gonna do is crumple them up into a little ball. So then you're gonna take a step back from the basket or the bowl and whatever's a challenging distance from you for you, and you're gonna aim and try to make it into the bowl. So everybody can have three chances to try to make it into the bowl, and whoever has the most turns or times to get in wins. Now, did anyone hit the target every time? No, no one is perfect, right? In today's Bible story, God gave his people rules to show them that he is holy, God is holy. And all that means is that God is perfect and we are not. So all these rules that he gave us, we're never gonna obey them all. Do you obey all of your parents' rules? No hard to do. So let's do our memory verse. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. This is my God and I will praise him, my father's God, and I will exalt him. Exodus 15, 2. All right, God gave us rules to show how to love him and how to love others. Let's watch our video. Three months after the Israelites left Egypt, they came into the wilderness of Sinai. They camped in front of the mountain. God had a plan to make the Israelites his special people. God wanted to make a covenant or agreement with the people of Israel. Moses went up the mountain. God called to him saying, this is what you should tell the Israelites. You have seen what I did to the Egyptians and how I rescued you and brought you to me. If you listen carefully to me and you keep my covenant, you will be my people. Moses went back to the people and told them what God had said. All the people responded together. We will do all that the Lord has spoken. So Moses went back to the Lord. The Lord said to Moses, I am going to come to you in a thick cloud. I want the people to hear me speak to you so that they will believe you. Moses told the people what God said, and he got the people ready for the Lord to come down on the mountain. On the morning of the third day, Moses brought the people out of the camp to meet God, and they stood at the foot of the mountain. God came down from Mount Sinai in a fire, and smoke covered the mountain. The mountain shook, and the sound of the trumpet got louder and louder. God said, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. I freed you from slavery. 
Then God gave Moses the Ten Commandments. The first four commandments told the Israelites what it looks like to have a right relationship with God. Do not have other gods besides me. Do not make an idol for yourself. Do not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. The last six commandments told the Israelites what it looks like to have a right relationship with each other. You must honor your father and your mother. You must not murder. You must keep your marriage promises. You must not steal. You must not lie. You must not want what belongs to someone else. Moses was on the mountain for 40 days. God gave Moses many more laws. When God was finished speaking to Moses on Mount Sinai, he gave Moses two stone tablets that he had written on with his own finger. God is holy and separate from sin. His law shows us what he requires, perfect righteousness. Our sin separates us from God, but Jesus came to bring us back to God. Jesus is perfectly righteous. When we trust in Jesus, he takes away our sin and welcomes us into God's family. Here are some questions from our video. What were the Israelites doing at the bottom of the mountain? What is a covenant? Where did Moses go to get the covenant from God? Did the people agree to do what God told them to do? How did God speak to the Israelites? What did God give Moses? Can you name the Ten Commandments? How long was Moses on the mountain? What did God put the laws or rules on? So now pause this video and answer those questions with your family. If you are some of our older friends, here are some questions for you. How does sin impact our relationship with God and others? What rules do your parents give you and why? What should we do if we disobey God? Write down all the Ten Commandments and try to memorize them. Which ones do you find hard to obey? God wants us to know that it is impossible for us to follow all the rules perfectly. This is why we need Jesus. How does this change the way that you pray? How does it change the way you see Jesus? Here are the Ten Commandments. The first few are how we interact with God. The last few are how we interact with other humans. So, number one, do not have any other gods besides me, which is God. Number two, do not make an idol for yourself. Number three, do not misuse the name of the Lord, your God. Number four, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. And the Sabbath day is the time that we spend in worship with God and with other people. So like our church Sundays. Number five, you must honor your father and your mother. Number six, you must not murder. Number seven, you must keep your marriage promises. Number eight, you must not steal. Number nine, you must not lie. And number 10, you must not want what belongs to someone else. Sometimes that one's the hardest one. Remember in every lesson that we do when we're looking at the Old Testament and all the very, very old stories, like the story of Moses, we have a Christ connection. So how does the Old Testament, Old Testament connect us to the New Testament, which is all about Jesus? So here's our Christ connection. God is holy and separate from sin. His law shows us that he what he requires, perfect righteousness. Our sin separates us from God, but Jesus came to bring us back to God. Jesus is perfectly righteous. When we trust in Jesus, he takes away our sin and welcomes us into God's family. Now let's pray. Dear God, thank you for the Ten Commandments. God, you brought us the Ten Commandments in a crazy cool way. And now we have these rules that we know we can't always obey. We know that we struggle sometimes. And, and Jesus, you came so that we could be perfect through you. Not because we follow all these rules, but because you died for our sins and you saved us from our sins. In your name we pray. Now for our activity. 
I want you to find either Play-Doh or maybe air dry clay or salt dough or really anything you can find. And we're gonna make the tablets, the Ten Commandment tablets. So if you just form your tablets with your clay or your Play-Doh, and then you take a toothpick and just draw a cross in it, I think it would be kind of hard to write out the Ten Commandments, but if you just draw a cross in them, let them dry, and then there's your craft for the week. See you next week.